quote to ponder. There is no love without forgiveness, and there is no forgiveness without love. Bryant McGill. I've always believed in a higher power. You can call it God, you can call it Jesus, Krishna, Buddha, Allah, I don't care. I really believe we are all a part of God. Olivia Hussey. Welcome, fellow seekers of truth and enlightenment, to a profound journey guided by the wisdom of the Pleiadian commander, Jili Argus Ceres Hatton, of God's Heavenly Hosts. In this scribed message, Commander Hatton brings forth divine insights and guidance into the depths of our existence. Enlightening us about the great positive forces, he unravels the mysteries of our existence and the unseen forces that shape our lives, often referred to as spirit guides, angels, and other benevolent beings, whose steadfast presence and boundless compassion touch our lives daily. As you absorb the following message, Hatton sheds light on forgiveness, the journey of self-awareness, and the pervasive societal illusions we face. Witness the awakening call to explore our own inner connection to Creator God, and the ongoing battle between the forces of light and darkness. This journey is not just a quest for knowledge but a powerful odyssey of self-discovery, empowerment, and spiritual awakening. Come along as we embrace these teachings with open hearts and minds, allowing them to illuminate our path towards greater awareness, unconditional love, and lasting peace. Let the blessings of this message resonate deeply within you, guiding you toward a higher state of being. Powerful Positive Forces at Work in Our Lives Jimmy Argus Series Hatton The 3rd of July 2001. Good evening, my scribe. It is I, Jili Argus Series Hatton, come in the one light of Father Mother Source, Creator God. Be still and allow for the message to flow freely. Dear ones, great positive forces are at work within your lives every day. You need not even be consciously aware of the presence of these forces, in order to reap the benefits they offer. These forces are often referred to as spirit guides, angels, Jesus, God force, great spirit, just to name a few. These forces offer great compassion and love to all ones, regardless of past or present deeds. There is nothing you ones can do for which you cannot be forgiven. Forgiveness comes from within. Just as the infinite life force energy of love comes from within. Forgiveness comes when you allow for it to be a part of your experience. Those who hold to guilt and shame with an undying passion will block the flow of forgiveness of self and thus create an inner pressure that is both unnatural and unneeded. Many who do this sort of self punishment do so out of a desire not to forget someone or something though they will profess the reason for the self-punishment to be a tribute to, or in honor of the memory, or the idea that causes them guilt, or shame. Ones in the physical schoolroom will always make perceived mistakes. These mistakes, once recognized, will serve as catalysts for a new awareness of self, and eventually serve as markers along the journey of life from which you will be able to measure and perceive growth and change. Allow for the fact that, for there to be growth, ones must move from their current place of self-limitation, due to erroneous beliefs and misperceptions, to recognition and acceptance of the awareness that they are in error. When ones believe that they have achieved the pinnacle of truth, and therefore there is no need for further exploration and self-discovery, these ones have succumbed to the vast overwhelm of their own ignorance. This is not an insult, for there is truly an infinite journey ahead for each of you. The journey becomes infinite, as there is a boundless expansion of awareness achieved every moment as the infinite whole of the collective experiences of all ones, everywhere throughout creation generates, and regenerates newness.
and thus greater awareness of self, the one light, from which all ones come forth. To hold rigid to current beliefs and awareness, will only serve to prolong the searching that nags at you from within. This nagging is the innate desire instilled in all ones, and expressed in the first law of the creation, which you honor in the masthead of this website and, before that, the spectrum, to go forth and seek greater knowledge, understanding, and thus awareness. You each are explorers who are seeking to understand what exactly is your place in the overall divine plan. The inner thrust, that you may be trying to ignore or suppress through distraction, will never leave you, and it will cause you to eventually take actions that will increase your awareness of self and others to a point where you will eventually recognize your direct inner connection to Creator God, the one who created you. This realization, understanding, when felt, will cause you ones to begin an inward journey of exploration. One way you seriously explore the much more subtle emotional sensations and feelings, vibrational signals, that are constantly being offered to you as markers or signposts, and sometimes screaming sirens along the way. Where do these vibrational signals come from? This leads us full circle, from the great positive forces, guides, angels, and God, or gods, you ones believe in and trust. The physical game of life is well orchestrated from many vibrational realms dimensions. All participants have their own unique challenges along the way, and you each play a role that greatly impacts many ones across all vibrational ranges. We of the lighted realms, are diligent in our efforts to maximize the growth potential of all ones. This will, in many instances, mean we stand back and patiently await the call for assistance. We will honor your choices and, if you choose a path of ignorance and confusion, then we will honor that as well. We only go where we are welcome. Thus, we remind you ones to go within and ask for assistance on a regular basis. The call will be answered. Learn to recognize the help that is offered to you. With a little conscious effort, you will begin to appreciate the powerful positive forces working in your life. Please also be very diligent in your efforts to challenge any and all thoughts that come to you. Call upon the light, or Creator God, Jesus, your favorite angel, or any ideal to which you hold as the perfection of goodness and clarify all thoughts and ideas that may come to you in moments of intuition or meditation. There are dark forces working to attempt to keep all ones in a state of pliable ignorance. These ones will try to emulate the lighted ones, in an effort to gain your trust and confidence. Then, when the time is right, they will not only pull a rug out from under your feet, but they will attempt to wrap you within a cloud of confusion wherein you will wonder what happened. Remember, 99% truth and 1% lie can cause great amounts of chaos, especially when the 1% is timed with great precision and accuracy. All ones seeking the path that helps awaken people are confronted by these dark ones, who wish to keep the masses in a state of ignorance. The greater the effectiveness of the light wicker, the greater the attack. This is in large part the reason for the great destruction of ancient libraries and such. For the truth was written and archived for the world to see, and yet the great men of the past were exalted to the state of hero, for having destroyed knowledge and truth. Not much has changed in modern times with the exception of the accelerated rate at which truth and knowledge are distorted and, in essence, destroyed. The mass media networks labor diligently to filter and mold the current history of events, as they unfold, so as to maintain the desired mental and emotional state of distraction. Remember, if the truth sets you free, then the lie must be the Slav master's favorite tool. This is an ongoing effort by dark energies and forces, 
who struggle with their own inner state of disconnect, and who derive great pleasure from exerting their influence and control over others. By controlling the emotional state of the masses, these entities effectively keep the masses in a low-frequency state of confusion, doubt, despair, etc., that makes them much more manageable. Many of the children finishing high school, and even college, are feeling a little confused, as if they are missing something big. They have been taught to work hard and buy toys, cars, houses, and gadgets, and pay their dues, taxes, to the government that takes care of them. Rarely are they taught to explore their inner creative potential. If they have been, it is often only because a parent or other adult mentor has taken the initiative to coach the child. Exercising your creativity is a very wonderful way to tune in to the more subtle vibrational signals constantly being offered to you. Creative new ideas will cause you to go beyond your current repetitions of habitual living. New ideas acted upon, even in the smallest of ways, will cause the idea to grow and evolve. Newness and relief from the murky mist of ignorance and repetition, are what the young adults of your world are craving. And yet, they are usually in a frenzied state of treadmill activity, trying desperately to do the right thing and be normal. The current societal structure is built on a foundation of illusion, and perceptual assumptions, that man is little more than an animal, who simply needs to be entertained in order to be quieted to a state of complacency. When you have a society that will spend hundreds of millions of dollars to make a box office hit motion picture, and likewise spend billions of dollars to go and view same, when all the while there are places around the world where our children are starving to death, or being consumed by great disease, you have a world where the great illusion master, Antichrist, reigns supreme. In essence, those who are buying into the illusion are slowly and methodically braiding the rope from which they and their children and grandchildren will be hung, all the while thinking that they are fitting in and being normal. Dear ones, it is not our wish to always look toward what is wrong within your physical schoolroom. In fact, it is for these very challenging reasons that many of you came forth at this time. You chose to enter into this third dimensional experience, to add positive energy and creativity to the world in which you now find yourself. Many of you simply are in need of reminding. Your current environment is perfect for you to have the opportunity to go within and tap the infinite creative potential, and thus find a way to show to the world that there are other options and choices. But don't become discouraged if what you have to offer frequently falls on deaf ears. We, off the higher vibrational realms, witness that a good many of the lightworkers have become trapped in the very illusion they intended to help others free themselves from. Such is the risk ones assume when they take on such challenges in lower vibrational ranges of the third dimensional physical planes. Many ones, though trapped by their current misperceptions, are by no means counted out. These ones are the sleeping giants whom we are constantly efforting to get through to. Some will have the so-called near-death experience and come back a changed person, while others will have equally impacting experiences that will trigger within them an awakening that, in turn, will cause a great shift in awareness, and thus open them to a greater understanding of who they are, and why they are experiencing at this time. The lightwickers of the higher realms know well the methods of the dark ones, who feverishly try to enslave the minds of the masses. Likewise, these twisted dark souls know that we will not interfere with the free will choices of another, and therefore the game continues. Our methods are tried and true. We know that, with great patience and persistence on our part, all ones will eventually awaken from the illusion to the greater reality. When that time comes, the game is over, on your planet, 
and the dark ones go elsewhere for the satiation of their lust for low frequency emotional energies. Please realize that you have chosen to incarnate into this world at this time, so that you can have a more direct impact upon the current evolutionary state of your world. By incarnating you establish a more direct route for affecting the positive energy flowing into your world. Learn to reach within and bring this positive energy, light, through into the physical in a deliberate and effective manner. Be not afraid to take actions that will stand as an example to others of what they are capable of achieving and creating, if they just remember to keep centered around the highest ideal of goodness, Creator God. Learn to become a beacon and example for others to follow. You are never too old, nor too young, to start. Elders can inspire others, the youth can stand as a symbol of hope, and thus inspire the elders. In the end, they are one in the same, as the infinite progression of life unfolds. I am G. Argus Series Hatton. Come in the light of Creator God, the One Light. May you each find, within self, your conscious connection to the great positive forces, that are forever reaching out to inspire you to the next level of awareness. Much love, blessings, and peace to you all. Salu. Source, The Spectrum, News Review, the 10th of July, 2001 issue, Volume 3, Number 2, pages 40 to 42. Editor's Note, to all my listeners and viewers, please check out the description section of this video for the above source, reference links and further comments. From there you will also have access to the banned Phoenix journals by the US government along with the starting set of Phoenix journals, as recommended by Commander Hatton to read first. The journals help unravel and clarify the many lies, tamperings and misconceptions foisted upon the masses. By those who seek to control the thoughts, perceptions and actions of others from generation to generation especially those of the true Christed life teachings of Isu Emmanuel Jesus Sananda. For uninformed readers, the new name and title of Sananda is an earned level of utmost respect and achievement for the accomplished and highly revered master teacher, meaning one with God. As a matter of fact, even your mistranslated and tampered with Bibles mentions that he would have a new name upon his return. The Phoenix Journals are the word of truth given forth to mankind from the higher realms of light, during this most critical transition time upon Earth's evolution to a higher dimension. Please like, share and subscribe to help support my YouTube channel, and as always have a wonderful day. In love and light. Thank you.